Hello YouTubers. We're going to be stepping away from the motor generator <coughs> or start moving away from that because number one, uh, if we're using a, a lead acid battery, okay, a lead acid battery is actually only 50% efficient. <coughs> Whatever energy you pull out of a lead acid battery, you can never ever put back into it. And uh, it's actually losing 50% of the energy because it's 50% efficient. <clears throat> now, if we use like uh, some nickel metal hydride batteries, uh, those are about 70, I forgot exactly, like 70% efficient. And those would actually work a little bit better. So we're moving on to a, a more of a solid state uh, device. And so what we have here is a, uh, I'm using a wall adapter of about 12.29 volts and uh, it drops to about 12.23 volts because I'm having the power of this pulser and plus uh, our resistance in our coil is very small so it's pulling a lot of power pulsing it. And so what we have here is a uh, just a, another simple little 555 timer. The chip is right here. And what this does is just pulses our coil right here. And then uh, our collapsing magnetic field comes out of this diode right here. Back to... And we're charging this small little capacitor right here. It's 82 microfarads. And of course the negative is on the other side of the coil. Positive being on uh, this side of the coil which has uh, got the, the rectifier on it to rectify it so we're just storing this up and then we have another timey timer pulser uh, over here that's pulsing the energy from our capacitor to this light bulb and uh, this is exactly what Tesla was doing Nikola Tesla and charging capacitors to a high voltage and then pulsing it out to a load. Alright, so I know we have some ferrite core here. It helps, uh, it helps it become more efficient. Now, hopefully by now we know and understand that a collapsing magnetic field, which Nikola Tesla referred to as a uh, inductive discharge, can be right around 80% efficient. Okay, so if we combine that 84% efficiency and collect it in our capacitor and then discharge it into our load, we can also get the rebound energy every time it discharges. That rebound energy can refill our capacitor up like that and help uh, and go along with the charging coming from uh, our coil. So, now, also, I have this set to a slightly uh, lower frequency than this because uh, Nikola Tesla says that if you, if the discharge rate is slightly more, meaning you pull more power off of it, than the charging rate, then you will see sudden rushes of current. Those are his words, direct from the horse's mouth. So, I'm going to turn this on, because that's important to uh, turn that on. And I have it coming through the radio. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But that's to show it's a slower frequency. Then we, uh, we're going to turn this on. And uh, here we're pulsing our uh, incandescent bulb. Now I got the current running from the capacitor being pulsed through into the condensants and that's 123 milliamps of current and our voltage is 
right around 22 volts between it looks like 20 and 22 volts and really this light bulb is only supposed to be like a, a 14 volt bulb so I have another bulb to show in comparison what that looks like compared to this one now I'm just starting to tune this so if we take this off and uh, well actually I want to show you I want to compare I'm going to just bypass this pulser right here like this so it continuously loads down and you can see that's only 10.53 volts at about 173 milliamps of current and that's that's if we continuously uh, leave the capacitor directly connected to our bulb but if I take this off and use the pulser that's what it does there's still a little bit more tuning to be done here uh, to try to get the most amount of power out of this but this is exactly what Nikola Tesla was doing was charging capacitors up and then discharging them through loads uh, so if we take our 80% 84% right around there efficiency uh, collected in our capacitor when we discharge that see watch I'll turn it off and I'll turn this off too we got zero volts but if I disconnect our timer now we get this voltage charging up uh, the capacitor uh, from within the capacitor and that's the rebound energy and that's what we're trying to collect as well to add on to the 80% efficiency that's already there from the uh, coil and the collapsing magnetic field so and uh, that'll get up to about half a volt even one volt and that's doing that basically completely by itself uh, I can disconnect all power and that's not connected to anything and that's that's the actual rebound energy but that's what I wanted to show you today uh, connect this back up and turn it back on That's the, uh, this is Nikola Tesla's uh, pulsed discharge, uh, capacitor discharge uh, method of conversion. Alright, thanks for watching, and uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.